Hello and welcome inside another episode of the Sherwood Park Crusaders pregame show. My name is Zach Marks. Please be bringing you this one from inside the Randy Rosen rink here in Sherwood Park, Alberta, where in just a couple hours' time, the Sherwood Park Crusaders will play host to the Black Falls Bulldogs. Now, Sherwood Park picked up a big 4 nothing win over the Grand Prairie Storm yesterday afternoon. Goals in the first period from Brock Such, both coming on the power play. A shorthanded goal in the second period from Callan Buttinger and an even strength marker from Cola Staley in the third period. Rounding out the scoring as Ryan Manzella makes 24 saves for his third shutout as a Crusader and his fourth on the season overall. Shore Park now winners of their last three games dating back to February 15th against the Fort McMurray Oil Barons, and with a win over the Lloyd Minster Bobcats sandwich in there as well. Their opponents tonight, the Black Folds Bulldogs, they're, they knocked off the Oak Tokes Oilers in their last game by a score of 9-6 to six to bring themselves into second place, sole possession of second place, with a two-point lead on the Oak Tokes Oilers. They'll look to stretch that here this afternoon against the Crusaders, who themselves... Shore Park, meanwhile, they are in a battle for second place with the White Core Wolverines and the Bonneville Pontiacs. Shore Park just a point back of the Pontiacs for third place and five points back of White Court with a game in hand on both the Wolverines and the Pontiacs coming into to today's action, which will be the game in hand, an opportunity to jump into third place in the North Division with a win here this afternoon. Now let's head to the pregame interview with head coach Evan McFeeders. Now he feels his team played yesterday afternoon and what to expect out of today's matchup with the Bulldogs. Joined now on the Crusaders pregame show by head coach Evan McFeeders. Evan, a 4-0 win over the Grand Prairie Storm yesterday afternoon. What did you think of your team's performance in that game? Oh, well, yeah, every time you, you can put a goose egg on the board here, you're, you're pretty happy with uh, the performance and starting with your goaltender. Manzella made a couple big saves early in the game, coming across, going post to post, and uh, to nullify a good scoring chance that we gave up on a, on a tough turnover. And then from there, uh, we, we kind of got it straightened out and made sure that we managed pucks coming out of our zone. And if you look at the, the shot map from last night, a lot of their opportunities came from the outside of the ice. And uh, any sort of second chances that uh, maybe popped off our goaltender or D-man were there to clear. And I thought we got through the neutral zone pretty decently last night, got in behind the, their back end. We scored two nice goals in the power play. We get an extra one, a bonus one on the penalty kill, and then we score five on five. So all, all around, pretty good performance. Moving ahead to today's matchup against Black Folds, what are you expecting out of them? You don't see them too often during the AJHL regular season. No, I mean, these guys have been clipping along real good since, I mean, since November here. They're, they're a veteran group. Uh, they're deep um, from top to bottom, and then they score a lot. Uh, so we got to make sure that we defend with desperation here, and uh, we, we play with our physicality, and, and we do what we do, and we keep them them limited to the outside if we're going to give up anything in terms of zone time we want to make sure that we're checking hard to get the puck back and uh, force them to to defend us we need to play with possession once once we get and make intelligent plays with the puck and uh, then we got to figure out how to w generate some high danger scoring chances either off the rush or some ozone play uh, but I think it's going to be one of those playoff style matchups here on family day so it should be good for the fans. Blackfold holds the second best power play in the AJHL running at just over 25 percent how important is the discipline today? Yeah, any night we play, any power play, if you give a, a team a, a man advantage on the ice for a, a, whatever you want to say, six or more minutes in a game, you're, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage to win. So I think last night we took too many penalties and we, we chatted about that this morning here with our pregame meetings. And uh, obviously our, our guys are, are well aware they're 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 dialed into what the league is and they see their power play and they see got, they got a bunch of 20 goal scorers and they do a lot of damage from their back end. So, I mean... Whether we give up some power plays here, that's out of our control sometimes with the fishing, but we've got a good plan in place and we want to make sure that we deal with their threats and then we don't give them that opportunity to get any sort of second chances. So 200 foot clears, make sure we're good on the dot, uh, make it tough for them to even gain, get into our zone and uh, limit their opportunity to set up in their structure. Last time you saw the Bulldogs was a tough offensive performance, one nothing overtime loss. How have you seen your team grow since then? <laughs> that was our worst game of the year. We, we came up with, with one point, and uh, you can give that one point direct to Eric Roost. I think we have only put up 15, 20 shots in that game, and the scoring chances were maybe two or three in, from us. And the other side, they probably had 20 high danger. So Eric Roost gave us a chance to win there, and uh, I think our guys are excited to play in the show of Black Falls. That, that isn't how we, we, we play. I think if you look at our record since that game, uh, we've only lost a couple, a handful of games. So maybe it was a turning point to our season, an eye-opener, realizing that is an unacceptable performance uh, when we come off the Christmas break. And uh, we've been addressed it, and that was two months ago now. So I think both teams are evolved since then. And I think our team's taken a, a ton of steps forward. And um, maybe we've been uh, underestimated across the league this year, but in our dressing, we have confidence we can win tonight. All right, thanks for this, Coach. Good luck today. Thanks.
And that'll do it for another episode of the show, Park Crusaders pregame show. Puck drop is 2 p.m. right here at the Rand Euros and Rink. You can grab your tickets online at tickets.showparkcrusaders.ca or at the door when you get here. If you can't make it out, I will have the call on Hockey TV 155 Mountain Time. For all of us in the Crusaders organization, we appreciate you tuning in, and we will see you at Puck Drop. Thank you.